With a 4.7 liter bi-turbo V8 engine, I would like to proudly present the all-new 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550. The S550 V8 engine pushes out an enormous 449 horsepower along with 664 pound-foot of torque. With this immense power, the S550 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4.8 seconds. The V8 engine combines twin turbos and numerous advances to deliver more torque from less fuel with cleaner emissions. When it comes to the body structure, the S550 body styling is genuinely athletic and is extremely luxurious in appearance. As for safety concerns, a big portion of the S550 body is made from high strength steel which makes the S550 much more rigid and safer when it comes to accidental collisions. When inside, one of my favorite features about the S550 is its all LED interior lighting. Approximately 300 LED light brings effective and a unique sense of environment to the cabin without employing a single conventional light bulb. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like and how beautiful it is in just a few minutes. With luxurious and sophisticated interior and exterior together with a dynamic driving experience, I would like to introduce the all new 2016 Jaguar XJL portfolio in Glacier White. The XJ is a sporting luxury sedan that features a 3.0 liter V6 supercharged engine that pushes out 340 horsepower. The L in this case means this is the long wheel base model which gives you an additional 6 inches of leg space. When it comes to strength, the XJL body is made extensively of lightweight aluminum but it is extremely strong. This together with the V6 engine enables the XJL to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.7 seconds. You can also opt to upgrade the engine to the 5 liter V8 engine with 470 horsepower or 550 horsepower. With these two upgraded engines, the XJL can hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4.9 seconds or 4.4 seconds. So unlike many other brands and models, the Jaguar XJL comes standard with many cool technologies. Some examples are the Smart Keyless Access System, Blind Spot Monitor, Soft Closing Doors, Panorama Glass Roof, Power Trunk, and the 8-inch Touchscreen Display with Navigation System. Here's the key fob of the car. On there, we have the Lock, Unlock, Trunk Release, and the Panic Button in Red. There's also a switch on the end here in which you can switch to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust note. The S550 does come equipped with the Smart Keyless Access Entry, so all you have to do is leave the key in your pocket or purse. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch on the outer side right there. First and foremost, the S550 is uh, equipped with the soft closing door feature. As you can see, it's very sensitive. Quick view of the luxurious interior. Very spacious as you can see and luxurious. To start the engine, push your foot on the brake and press the start button located right behind the uh, steering wheel here. And this part is removable. A lot of people doesn't know that. Now let's go ahead and pop open the hood and see what's under the S550 hood. Under the hood, the 2016 S550 features a beautiful handcrafted AMG 4.7 liter twin turbo V8 engine that pushes out again 449 horsepower at around 5200 RPM. It is a 7 speed automatic transmission with manual shift paddles mounted onto the steering wheel. The S550 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4.8 seconds. As for fuel economy, it gets 17 miles per gallon in the city, 26 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined, it gets 20 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will vary depending on which driving mode the vehicle is in, comfort, sport, or manual mode. To further enhance gas mileage, there's also the Eco Start and Stop system. When activated, the Eco Start and Stop system will shut off the engine automatically when the S550 comes to a complete stop such as red lights or other idle situations. 
and immediately after you lift your foot off the brake, the engine will automatically restart within milliseconds. And of course, this feature can be turned off by the driver at any time. So here's the key fob to the car. On there, we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. Jaguar lettering on the side. We also have the headlight control there, and Jaguar logo on the back. And as you'll notice, the side view mirror is currently folded. Immediately after you press unlock, side view mirror will automatically unfold. And again, this one does come with the smart keyless access entry as a standard. Simply put your hand behind the handle to unlock. And press the button on the outer side to lock. First of all, it comes with the soft closing door feature. And here's a quick view of the interior. Interior looks very luxurious and clean. This specific interior comes in truffle cashew trims with truffle stitching. To start the engine, simply push your foot down the brake and press the start button locator right here. So under the hood, this specific 2016 Jaguar XJL portfolio features a 3.0 liter V6 supercharged engine. The V6 engine is able to push out 340 horsepower along with 332 pound-foot of torque. It is a 8-speed automatic transmission with shift paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. The 2016 Jaguar XJL can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.7 seconds, and its top speed is electronically limited to 121 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, the XJ gets 18 miles per gallon in the city, 27 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 21 miles per gallon. The gas mileage will also vary depending on which driving mode you're in, relax, sport, or winter. To further enhance gas mileage, you can enable the intelligent stop and start feature, which will automatically shut off the engine when you come to a complete stop such as red lights or when in traffic jams, and the engine will instantly restart when you lift your foot off the brake. Up front, there's the automatic power intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the attractive chrome grille with the famous 3D Mercedes-Benz logo on top. For enhanced visibility, the S-Class is the first car without a single light bulb. It is equipped with full exterior LED headlamps composed of nearly 200 long lasting and energy efficient LEDs which includes the bright white LED daytime running lights and LED turn signal lights. And lastly it also featured adaptive high beam assist and cornering illuminating front lamps. Parking assists are also built into the front bumper to help notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Moving over to the side, there's the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature including power folding, auto dimming function, heated feature with the optional blind spot assist. Lastly, as part of the parking assist package, there's also a camera located below the side view mirror here. This is a very good safety feature that helps drivers in close parking areas. This specific model comes with 20 inch multi-spoke AMG wheels with high performance tires. Behind the wheels, there's the attractive brake caliber with Mercedes-Benz lettering. All four wheels are equipped with the adaptive brake technology, anti-lock braking system, brake assist system, and the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, the first thing we have the LED brake light behind the rear windshield. Moving down, we have the optional rear deck spoiler, makes the S550 looks much more attractive. There's the LED tail lamp with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. 
Here's where the rear view camera will extend when you put the car into reverse. Parking assist also built into the rear. Here's a closer look at the sporty exhaust tip. Looks very nice with the black diffuser there. Now to pop open the trunk and see what's inside. As you can see it's very spacious. Let's see what we have here. Look like the headrest cover. License plate cover there. Here's the perfume for the interior. Under here we have a lot of more storage compartment and uh, your tools there. Here is a spot for you to put uh, a lot of um, things that uh, can be very useful here such as clothes or any smaller materials. As you can see there it extends out. And to retract that you can simply press this button right here. And simply push it back into place very nicely designed and if you happen to lock yourself inside the trunk you can simply press this button to release yourself trunk lighting same goes over here and to close the trunk you can either press the uh, trunk lock button there or you can press the lock button which will lock the trunk and the car As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, simply push in. And as you may already know, Mercedes Benz require premium unleaded gasoline, and it goes the same for the S550 here. Now, to show you a complete view to the top, it looks very nice blacked out. It does come with the panorama sunroof. And here it is with the tilt function on. And again, this is one of my favorite feature about the Mercedes. Looks very sporty. Especially when it's fully open. And here it is. As you can see how it glides back and raises upward. Looks very sporty and aggressive. Up front, there's the power intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the chrome mesh grille with the iconic Jaguar badge in the center. Very attractive. For enhanced visibility, there's the standard full LED headlights with adaptive lighting and intelligent high beam assist. New full LED headlamps minimize power consumption with a distinctive beam pattern. The LED lights is closer to the true daylight allowing the human eye to see objects more easily also. Front bar also have built in parking assist to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Moving over to the side, there's the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature, and power folding feature. Lastly, it also features the blind spot monitoring system on each side view mirror that uses radar technology to alert the driver of the course in the blind spot while changing lanes. Jack or side fender. This specific XJ model comes with the optional 19 inch Toba polished wheels. Behind the wheels, we have the advanced Jaguar braking system that includes emergency brake assist, electronic brake force distribution, dynamic stability control, and cornering brake control. All four wheels are indeed equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, the first thing we have is the middle LED brake light located behind the rear windshield. 
Moving down, there's the rear view camera that automatically turns on when you put the car into reverse, giving the driver a complete view of the rear. On both sides are the eye-catching LED tail lamps with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. Parking assists are also built into the rear that automatically notifies the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. At the bottom, we have the eye-catching black rear diffuser that hugs the dual chrome exhaust tip. Here's a closer look at it. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, all you have to do is push in. And the XJ does require a premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and check what's inside the trunk. To open the trunk, there's this button on the right hand side here. Simply press this once to open. And as you can see, it's very spacious. Let's see what's over here. Here's your fuse box. And if we lift this up, we have your spare tire along with all your tools and the core battery. Trunk lighting there. And you can simply pull this out to release yourself if you accidentally lock yourself inside the trunk. To close the trunk, simply press this button to activate the power feature. Here's a complete view of the top. Now again, this one does come with the full panorama roof. Looks very sporty. Here it is with the tilt function on. And here it is with the roof fully open. Looks very sporty. A lot of luxurious cars are moving towards this trend where the glass lifts upwards as it goes back, which looks very cool and sporty. Now let's take a close look at what we have on the driver's side door. As you can see, very nicely designed. Starting from the top, we have three memory settings for the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Both seats have heated and cool air function. Front seat also have lumbar support. There's your speaker. Down here we have the door lock and unlock button. And as you can see the wood trim runs nicely throughout. Looks very luxurious. We have four power window control at the bottom window lock button. On the top we have your side view mirror control. And the button all the way on the top allows you to fold and unfold the side view mirror. Feel very nice also with the leather finish. Side door storage compartment and in here we have your trunk release switch. Mercedes Benz door seal. Breaking gas pedal. And way below there you have the red knob. This is to open the hood. Simply pull it down. Power parking brake. Closer look at the driver's seat here. And you can tell the uh, from the design that it hooks the body very nicely. Headrest control there. Adjustable seat belt placement. Extremely smooth seat belt.
the lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors here's a quick view of the back before we step in very spacious as you can see same style design as the front door this door also have the uh, sunshade cover and this is all power control also back seat also have three memory setting with heat and cool air feature with complete uh, seat control placement there's a speaker power window control and power sunshade cover control feel very nice again side door storage compartment there Mercedes-Benz door sealed on all four door now again I am five foot seven so just give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have sitting in the back I have plenty of leg space back here very spacious as you can see I can stretch my leg fully and I really like the uh, ambient lighting as you can see it's also under the seat complete view of the front for sitting in the back two additional air vent for the back passenger here it is adjustable it looks very futuristic and this knob over here in the center is used to cover the vent additional spot for your phone there and here we have a uh, house torture outlet which could be very convenient the middle portion is slightly raised up so the middle passenger will have to split their legs back seat compartment again very uniquely designed and let's see what we have here Put this down you'll see we have two cup holders here very nice wood trim finish also if we lift this up we will see that we have more storage compartment And you can also open this port here and you kind of have like a uh, secret compartment that you can use here and now let me show you a quick view of the LED lighting I told you about earlier as you can see here it's currently in the purple setting it runs all the way around the car on the doors and the back and the front also below the uh, driver's seat as you, you saw earlier looks very nice at night same style design as you see in the front seat and this is one of the nicest thing about the S class is the back passenger seat have all the adjustment as the front on top we have uh, two huge mirrors one on each side also have the lighting there on top woman will love these and on both sides we have the hand bore with the light control also uh, have a hook on the side here let me go ahead and show it to you there it is very detailed And same over here as you see on the other side. Panorama sunroof on top. And we're back in the driver's seat. Here we have the uh, half wood trim and leather wrap steering wheel. Looks and feel very comfortable. On this side we have the voice command turn off function with the different display selection. Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle with the horn voice command bluetooth phone answering option and audio volume control 
we have the gear shift paddle one on the right and another on the left here here's your gear shift box to control this push your foot down the brake push it down to put the car into drive light up to put the car into neutral heavy up to put the car into reverse and simply press the button on the end to put the car into park again light up or light down to put the car into neutral and press P to park over here we have the right and left turn signal and you can also twist this knob on the end to control the windshield wiper and press the button on the end to release the windshield washer down here we have two different knobs the longer knob here is your adaptive cruise control and the smaller knob in the back is for controlling the steering wheel placement you can move it up down away from you or towards you and um, you can also twist the knob on the end here to turn on the heated steering wheel function over here we have the adjustable driver air vent and this is used to close and open the air vent I'm loving the wood trim finish here here we have the steering wheel assist, lane assist, parking assist and the 360 camera view simply press that and the camera view will display here as you can see it shows you a complete view of your surrounding currently the driver door is open so that's why that camera is off let's go ahead and uh, I'll close the uh, driver door as you can see there is currently open let me go ahead and close it that way you can see a complete view with the car surrounding and as you can see there immediately after I close the door you can see a complete view of the uh, surrounding there's your headlamp control power parking brake and as you can see the purple ambient lighting also goes below there and it runs all the way through the front dash here looks very nice sun visor on top with a, a small clip for you to hold any paper, credit card small piece of mirror with light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror you can move this piece over the side for better sun coverage and you still have another piece for the front and let's see what else we have hand bore over here moving over to the middle we have the beautiful navigation and audio display here looks very nice and clean four additional air vent in the middle with an interlock clock right in the middle there's your engine start and stop button complete dual AC heat climb control let's see if we open this we have your cigarette ashtray right next to it is the cigarette lighter and can also be used as a 12 volt core charger outlet and down here we have a uh, spot for you to put cup your cup so two cup holders there and this middle piece is removable you can simply just switch to switch and remove it and simply make sure you switch it back to lock it into place down here we have a slot for your put your CD and the SD card and in the middle here starting with the left side we have the different display selection from navigation here's the navigation view your radio view media view phone view and here's the core setting view looks very futuristic as you can see I'm using this knob in the middle here it is multi-directional and you can twist it and press down on it to select press this button to turn the uh, screen on or off as you can see there scrolling volume control 
Next we have the auto start and stop feature button. Press once to turn it on or off. On top here we have the touchpad. It is very sensitive and you can also use this touchpad to maneuver around the different settings here. And you can also press down on it to select. Below that we have the return button and the favorite button. Here we have the return button, different sport and econ driving mode control. And the different sport and uh, comfort suspension control. And the suspension height control there. Now let's go ahead and open the middle armrest compartment. Inside we have more additional uh, storage space for you. And you also have a slot here for you to put your phone or anything you need there. Inside we have uh, two USB inputs also. And over here is your glove box compartment. And all the way on the left side there is where you will put your um, perfume. And the fragrance will release to the car. Here's your trunk lock switch. Put that over to the lock and you'll not be able to open the trunk from the inside. Here's a quick view of the front passenger side there. Here's a complete view of the dash. Here's a quick view of the uh, digital dash. You can uh, control everything from here and all of the navigation display will also display here. Along with the radio and uh, media. Use these control to uh, maneuver from the di different settings and views. Moving on up we have your auto dimming rear view mirror. You can use these three buttons to open and close your house garage doors. Further up we have your LED lighting, looks very nice as you can tell there. And right next to it we have uh, two different control. The one way in the back here is used to uh, open and close the uh, back portion of the panorama sunroof. As you can see the cover open and looks very nice. And the other one in front of it is used to control the front portion, of course. Next, we have a spot for you to put your glasses. And let's see what else we have up here. There's the lighting on and off. Now to show you a quick view of the uh, sunroof uh, tilt function. There it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Looks very nice and sporty. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. There's a wood trim. Looks very luxurious. Meridian speakers, door lock and unlock button there. Over here we have three memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Four power window control. At the bottom we have the window lock along with the child proof lock button. On top side view mirror control. If you press both buttons at the same time, side view mirror will close, will fold I mean. And if you press both buttons again it will unfold. Have a small storage spot here and side door storage compartment jack or door seal brake and gas pedal hood release lever multiple front seat control include lumbar support And here's a closer look at the driver's seat. A 
again looks very luxurious and clean. Adjustable seat belt placement. The lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors and the same goes for the soft closing feature. Here's a quick view of the back seat. Same style design as the front. You also have the uh, manual sunshade cover back here. Simply pull it up and uh, slip it into uh, place. Pretty nice feature to have. And as you can see it rests nicely in there. Door lock and unlock control button also have back it have it back here. Jack War logo there. Here we have the power window control along with a removable ashtray. Side door storage compartments. Jack War door sealed are seen on all four sides. Now again, I am five foot seven, so this gives you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have. This one is the long wheel base version again, and it does give you an extra five inch of leg space, so I have no trouble with leg space back here. Here's a complete view of the front from sitting in the back. The middle portion kind of remind me of Mickey Mouse. Two air vents back here, and it is adjustable, and you can twist the middle portion to close or unclose the uh, vents. Complete AC heat control back here. Two uh, core charger there, or can, you can use that as a uh, cigarette lighter. Middle portion is raised up. Back seat compartment. And let's check out the middle portion here. Here we have uh, more storage compartment and two cup holders in here along with storage compartment on the side. Pretty unique compared to others. Here's a closer look at the seat. This one does have the built-in latch system. Headrest is also uh, controllable and uh, movable. Seat belt looks very nice in contrast with the uh, seat there. On top, on both sides, we have the uh, hand bore and have a spot for you to hang anything you need there. Directly above our head, we have the uh, different lighting control. And in the middle, we have the uh, top sunshade cover control. You can control the rear portion back here. And the front is controlling the front. And you also have another button here, which allows you to uh, raise and lower the uh, rear sunshade cover here. And in front of the uh, passenger on top, on both sides, we have a huge piece of mirror with lighting on both sides. And again, this comes in handy when you have uh, female passengers. Also have hook on this side and uh, the other one also. Very similar to the uh, BMW M models or the 7 series lighting there. And we're back in the driver's seat. Here we have the half leather wrap along with the wood steering wheel. Looks and feel very luxurious. Over here we have the different audio modes control, volume control, and channel control. Bluetooth phone answering option with voice command. And on the back here we have the heated steering wheel control function. 
Jaguar logo in the middle with the horn. Over here we have the different uh, control selection in which allows you to control everything that's going to be displayed on the uh, digital dash here. Very nice. And down here we have your cruise control. Behind the steering wheel we have uh, the standard uh, gear shift pattern, one on the right and another on the left. Here's your windshield wiper control. Over here we have your headlights control and the button on the end is used to reset the uh, trip button. Way in the back there, we have a uh, smaller knob here. This is used to control the uh, steering wheel placement. You can put it on manual or just leave it in auto and it'll automatically uh, control it for you, adjust it for you based on the uh, seat placement. Driver air vent. Again, you can twist this to cover or uncover the uh, vent. Trunk release button and interior lighting control. Driver sun visor on top with a paper clip or credit card holder on the side there with mirror and light. You can also pull this over to the side for better sun coverage. Moving over to the middle, we have two additional air vents with an analog clock in the middle. Again, this uh, reminds me of Mickey Mouse for some reason. Right below that, we have the beautiful and gorgeous screen display. It is fully touchscreen. As you can see, they're very simple layout. And touchscreen is very sensitive. On the side, we have the engine start and stop button. And here we have the power button to control the uh, navigation system or everything there. Home screen, camera view. Those are the side view cameras. Radio, Bluetooth phone pairing. And there's your navigation. You have to set this up first before you can uh, see the navigation view. Let's see what we have here. It wants you to agree to all the terms and things like that. And there's your navigation system display. Very nice. Moving down in the middle. That's where you insert your CD. Volume control here. And you can press down to turn on or off. The eco stop and start system there. It also tell you if it's on or off here. Has a light control in the middle, and we have complete AC heat climate control. Two cup holders. Again, very nice design. I think I like it better when it's close. And here's your gear shift box to control this. Push your foot down the brake, twist it over to R to put the coin to reverse. When you do so, rear view camera automatically display here on the screen with guided lines which move according to the movement of the steering wheel. Very nice safety feature. Side view mirror also tilts down giving you a complete view of the rear. As you can see there. When I put it into park it automatically races back up put into R, it automatically lowers. N for neutral, D for drive, and you notice right here it's stuck. In order to put into a sport, you have to press this down, then twist over to the right. After that, you can simply use the gear shift paddle behind the steering wheel to change gears. And the gearbox does lower it when you turn the engine off. And it automatically races when you turn the engine on. Very futuristic. Below that we have your traction control. 
and different driving mode control. There's a different driving modes control there. Next is your power brake control. Lift up to activate and to deactivate, push your foot down the brake, then press down to deactivate the parking brake. Here we have a, a small slot for you to put anything you need. It fits a phone if you put it in there, it fits very nicely. Middle armrest compartment. Let's see. Inside we have uh, two USB inputs along with a SIM slot there and a 12 volt core charge outlet. Very nice. Gloves box compartment. Simply touch this button here on the top. It's not really a button. All you have to do is touch it and it'll open. And here's a complete view of the dash. Looks very clean again. And as you can see, the wood trims runs from the door all the way forward to the front dash and throughout the car. Looks very luxurious. Moving up, we have the rear view mirror with the universal garage door opener here. You can simply input the codes and use those buttons to close and open your garage doors. On top, on both sides, the first thing we have is the uh, emergency roadside assistant buttons. Press that and you'll be automatically connect. Next, we have the touch sensitive lighting control. And as you can see there, very nice. Simply touch once to turn on or off. Next, we have the parking assist control and the top moonroof control covers. And here's the rear sunshade cover control also. Now the front can control both uh, front and rear sunshade cover control for the top. The back passenger can only control the back portion. And there's a tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching and as always, make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this car below. For more future car reviews, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our official Facebook page for everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.